Hello everyone and welcome to the Stress Less Workshop from the Dennis Learning Center. Today we're going to be talking about how to uh, control your academic emotions and build resilience as it relates to your schoolwork. Today we want to understand how stress influences our feelings towards academics and realize that negative emotions are normal. Then we're going to go over different strategies we can use to work towards reducing stress for the future. When we talk about stress, it's important to recognize the impact that it has on our performance. If we're over on that left hand side in the blue area, we're bored, nothing's really motivating us, pushing us to do anything. Whereas if we're on the side, the right side with the warmer colors, um, it's too much stress. It's not good for us. Um, and it can cause bad things such as fatigue and exhaustion and eventually a breakdown. And so being in this area for too long can be dangerous. And so the area where we wanna be is in that green part where we have eustress, which is just enough um, of the good type of stress to keep us motivated and keep us working and productive, but not so much where um, we're feeling those negative effects. We want to gain control of our academic emotions by monitoring, evaluating, and planning our approach. So we want to monitor our engagement by using active study strategies. Um, we want to make sure we're paying attention and actively engaging in class. And one way you can do this is by making your notes fun. So highlighting, underlining, uh, reviewing with friends or a group, and adding in pictures and drawings can be very helpful to keep you engaged. As far as memory goes, we want to move out of that uh, negative activation area, like feelings like anxiousness, by using memory tools to increase our understanding of overwhelming amounts of hard material. So we can do this by using mnemonics, acronyms, or mind maps. Next, we can reduce our stress by focusing less on the outcome and more on the process. So intrinsic motivation is something that um, internally motivates you. So an example is you feel passionate about your class because you love the content. Uh, if this is the case, you're more likely to succeed and feel successful when you find that intrinsic motivation. This is not to say you won't, can't succeed or won't feel successful with extrinsic goals, but when something matters to you and has an impact on you, you're more likely to work harder, put in more times towards it, and feel more confident doing it. Next up, uh, mastery versus performance goals. Mastery goals, the point is to really learn that information um, and be able to use it and know it well whereas performance goals are more geared towards getting a certain grade on a test. And so having mastery motivation is more likely to push you towards that peak performance area, the green area in the graph, because it's not associated with potential failure, just different areas where you can grow. Lastly, it's important to have a plan when it comes to your schoolwork. Anxiety can be reduced by breaking up assignments and asking for help. These strategies can help make the assignment or task more manageable and attainable. So in order to challenge negative distortions that you may have, you can adjust your mindset. So instead of saying, I felt so sad that I got a bad grade on my last paper, you can say that paper was really challenging and there are some things that I can do better next time thanks to the feedback I got on my last paper. Another thing you can do is provide a sense of control. So having a sense of control can provide comfort and reassurance in an area of unfamiliarity. It can remind you that you're in control and you know what you're doing and so it stops you from letting those negative distortions overwhelm you. This can include making time management plans, reaching out for help, uh, making a planner or a to-do list, and much more. I really encourage you to visit the Dennis Learning Center website and schedule an appointment with an academic coach 
if this is something uh, that you need help with and you would like some assistance on.